okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel we're going to go ahead and do you guys is for my virgos dealing with other signs right so we're going to go sign by sign um oh i will be doing every sign guys so no one doesn't have to comment down below can i please do this sign we will get through them all okay so we're going to be starting with my virgos that are dealing with an aries um, only because I've been kind of seeing a lot of you have been commenting that you're, you've been dealing with an Aries or you've been dealing with a fire sign. And the fire sign has been coming up quite a lot in you guys' general readings, right? So let's start with Aries and see what comes out. Now, Virgos, these are general messages. They are not going to resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? If anybody is interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys. All right, so let's jump into this. My Virgos are dealing with an Aries spirit. We're going to need a card for now and a card for going forward. Now, the Aries doesn't have to be a love interest, okay? So this is a general. This could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a co-worker for some of you. I'm even hearing this even may be a boss of yours, right? So let's see what the energy is. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward for my Virgos dealing with an Aries. So they want to give me this. Worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Oh, but you also have released your ex. Hmm. The time has come to clear your energy. Now, why do they want to show me this? This could be giving me energy here for some of you. It's not going to be for all. We will clarify the card, okay? But it could be giving me an energy here that some of you may be in this kind of mind frame where, or frame of mind, right? Speaking backwards, <laughs> okay? Some of you may not want to go backwards, right? So this may be somebody that you've already released, somebody that you've already walked away from, right? Some of you may be in this energy where you're kind of saying, hey, I, I would rather wait for new love to come in, right, than go back to this person, this Aries. Let's see. Give me a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. For my Virgos that are dealing with an Aries. See, it's getting messy here. You have forgiven and learning. You have forgiven and learning. So even if some of you want to move on from this Aries energy, right, Spirit is saying here, that it's very important to forgive this situation. Now, for some of you, it could be an energy where this Aries may want you to forgive them. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there may be some healing that needs to be done here between you and this Aries. What else? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So for some of you, this Aries may still have feelings for you, right? But give me just one card, please, for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Too many reconciliation <laughs> oh lord soulmate and love yourself fast hmm just one card thank you spirit thank you that's not <laughs> all right so do i take them all i mean I'm going to run out of space. New love, and then you have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So it's almost like this Aries wants to come back in and have some kind of conversation with you. But like, again, like I said, with this energy, I feel like for some of you, you're like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm onto something new. I need something better, right? Let's try again. <laughs> See, for some of you, this Aries may be persistent. Thank you. Wanting to come in and express themselves, say how they feel, right? Let's see what we got. Keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Now, we did just see that soulmate card. So this Aries could be a soulmate to some of you. I'm not going to go down the whole road of, you know, the different types of soulmates that we could have. Some are meant to just cross our paths to teach us something. Or you teach them. Some cross our paths, right, to teach us lessons. 
Let's see what comes out of the kipper. So I don't know why this has come out. Maybe, like I said, there's some difference here. Maybe you're not usually this person's type. Maybe they're not your usual type. Maybe there's like a difference, right? Maybe an age difference, maybe a race difference, maybe, I don't know, a culture difference. Hmm, interesting. I'm seeing a flock of geese flying over. Give me a card for worth waiting for. Oh, marriage. And keep an open mind. Oh dear. Thief card. Okay, so and then we have the family room at the bottom of the deck. Now this area is, you may have children with them, right? Again, like I said, this is a general reading. It could be a family member. But with the family room in this deck, it's empty, right? This is somebody I want to say who's feeling lonely, who's feeling excluded. What's behind the house and the journey? So for some of you, they may want to come to visit you, right? For some of you, there may be distance between you and this person. I am hearing issues with traveling. Let's jump into the tarot. Three of swords and the magician. <laughs> For some of you, this person may have been trying to manifest you back in, or this magician could very well be meaning something else. But even if it was something else, like dark, right? Or this person was trying to do something or whatever. You've got the three of swords here. Heartbroken. Something didn't go someone's way. The star card. Hmm. For some of you, this Aries is looking at you like you've changed. It's almost like maybe things they would do before isn't working now, right? So that magician could even be talking about manipulation. I saw the lovers. This may have been somebody who may have used intimacy as a way to control someone. Do you understand? So let's see. Worth waiting for in the marriage. For some of you, this person may be coming back in to propose to you. That's not going to be for everyone. The two of swords at a crossroads. Oh, now I just saw two white pigeons, which would to me would represent marriage, right? A lot of people, when they get married, they, they let off, um, they're not, they don't let off pigeons, they let off doves, right? And it's just the two of them flying around. Again, with this soulmate energy. <laughs> I don't know. Two of swords at a crossroads. Needing to make a decision here. For some of you, you may have this Aries blocked. Why is it two of swords here? And my Virgo is dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. The hanged man. Yeah. Stuck energy. Now, the hanged man is also, like I said having some kind of enlightenment, seeing something from a different perspective, right? It's almost like the other side of the coin. So that's why I said, I feel like for some of you Virgos, this, this Aries may be looking at you and thinking you have changed somehow or you are different somehow. Or they're just kind of stuck in terms of how to maybe, let's see, what is a two of swords and the hanged man? Why is this energy? Yeah. <laughs> How to get back into your good graces, Virgo. The lovers. Show me more. Thank you. The nine of pentacles. <laughs> Virgo said, I think not. Okay. Mm, uh, uh ain't nobody coming in to disturb my nine of pentacles energy some of you are happy being single right some of you are just happy working on your pentacles your stability doing you the nine of pentacles is that energy it gives me you know just living your best life right you ain't bothering nobody 
I just said about white pigeons, two white pigeons were flying around. You guys are surrounded by your ancestors and your angels being looked after. What is the two of swords and the lovers for Virgos? Dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. The six of swords. Now, six of swords with the two of swords is the eight of swords. This Aries is in some kind of a mental prison here. And then, like I said first, a lot of you is because you moved away. But again, with the birds, right? Being divinely guided. A lot of you were divinely guided to move away from this energy, to move to calmer waters. And I always say to people, where is the Six of Swords coming from? It's coming from the Five of Swords. So a lot of mind games. A lot of immature communication. It's also that energy, though, of whatever this person did in the past. Very much sitting in this energy now of regret. What is the hangman and the knight of pentacles? Thank you. <laughs> Sitting in that energy of regret. Four of cups. Feeling like they missed an opportunity. See, this cup is not like the other cups stacked up here, right? Which would give me the energy of different from the rest. Cut from a different cloth. Now, this person could have entertained other options here with the Three of Cups here, right? Maybe they chose somebody else. But it wasn't the cup where the rainbow is coming out of. It wasn't the opportunity from the universe. So is that what they're seeing now, Virgo? Hmm? That you was the Ace of Cups? Oh dear. Now they're seeing you as wifey or husband material. Now it could have been. Do I want to say it? Some of you, you know that you have a relationship coming in that is going to bring you stability. That's going to bring you an equal give and take, right? It's that empress. Thank you, bird. And emperor energy. King and queen status. Now, maybe this Aries wants to come in and be the emperor. But what was he before? What other cards represent Aries? The knight of wands. Non-committal. In and out. Why am I hearing the word? I don't know. <laughs> they could have been... Uh, do I want to say that? <laughs> well, they're making me cough. <laughs> uh, they could have been very free um, with their sexuality. I'm going to keep it peaceful. Even though when I keep it peaceful, it still triggers people. <laughs> The truth hurts. It is what it is. You don't like the way you are being looked at. You don't like the things that you're hearing. Then change your ways, right? Everybody makes mistakes. It's, it's a part of life. It's a part of learning. It's a part of growing. The difference is when you make the mistakes and then you make the mistakes and then you make the mistakes and now you're just purposely making the mistakes, right? But yet you want to be seen in a certain image and in a certain light. What is this? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation and the thief card. Show me. The star card. A lot of you have healed yourselves. It's also this energy of... A lot of you have heard the higher calling, right? Some of you could be stars. Let's see why it's here. Thief. My Virgo is dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Here's the energy. Thank you. The Ten of Swords. 
Virgo said, uh, uh, I'm done. I wasted my time there. I wasted my time, my effort, my energy. Now, for some of you, this person could have physically stole something from you, right? Ten of Swords, the ultimate betrayal. Way too much water under the bridge for some of you. Oh, okay. I was trying. I was hearing a song, but it was a little bit muffled. But okay, it, I, I'm hearing. I'm walking away from Craig David. I'm walking away from all the troubles in my life. Right? Some Virgo said, "I have to be dumb, deaf, and stupid." <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> the star card. Thank you. The queen of wands. You are healed. Look at you. Go Virgo. Go Virgo. Lane. <laughs> queen of wands. Confident. Not underestimating yourself. Manifesting. Happy. And there we go with that black cat. Being divinely guided all the way. happy is also you know it feels happy Virgo for some of you you feel at peace just doing you right now some of you you may be finding you know these people may be kind of clearing out a little bit for some of you the Mercury retrograde I believe has now come to an end but we do also still have um I think a two-week shadow period nine of swords anxiety stress somebody worried here unable to sleep haunted by their own memories nine of wands could be this fire sign oh the magician and the three of cups the king of cups six of wands death and rebirth mm. what's the ten of swords Yep. Yeah. Heartbroken. It's over for some of you. The end of a chapter. Would have been nice to see the world card. Let me not influence the cards. <laughs> three of swords, right? It could be because you could... That three of swords could even be your energy, right, Virgos? Or it could be theirs. Take it how it resonates. I do maybe feel like some of you may be in the past. This is what this person put you through. And this is why you walked away. This is why, right? I cannot go back into this energy. Not after when I've done all this work on myself. Spirit said, uh-uh. Now, it could also be, this is that person's, the Aries energy, right? Heartbroken. Because this is all they can see of you, is the back. All they have is their memories, right? It could have been a happy situation at one time. Well, for some of you, this Ten of Cups is on its way with that Page of Pentacles, something new. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Yeah, and then we have the Eight of Swords. With the Queen of Swords. This person may even be stuck in another situation, maybe with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. That is just what I saw for some. What's the star card and the Queen of Wands? Hey, look at this. See how fast that came out, Virgo? Whoosh. Virgo said, bye. I'm heading somewhere different. I'm going somewhere new. Again, with the horses being led, being divinely guided. A lot of you are really tapped in here, Virgos. And this person trying to chase you, but a man on two feet, is he any competition for a motorbike? Will he ever really catch up or will he forever be chasing? Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Five of Swords. And it's funny because I was seeing the Four of Swords in my head. Or the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords brings it to the 13. Breaks it down to a four. 
For some of you, this person really may not be doing too well, right? Maybe in the mental space. Again, it's not going to be for everyone. Don't come in here and claim something if it doesn't belong to you, right? But for some of you, this person is not doing very well. Unable to think, unable to concentrate. I'm hearing unable to see clearly. I don't know, they may have issues with their eyes, I don't know. Um, but the Five of Swords, there's that energy of regret. Something was an unwise choice. Your ancestors, for some of you, may even be somewhat haunting this person with that bird right at his ear, right? Almost never letting them forget. Oh, you lost a good thing. <laughs> oh, you thought it was funny in the past. Mm -hmm. You thought you was having some kind of a victory. There's some of that spirit saying, well, what does the view look like now for this Aries? This is what it looks like. There was definitely some betrayal here for some of you. And I don't know how deep the betrayal goes because with this person in the back, there's like blood on the floor. Okay. So give me three cards for the advice for Virgos here. Uh, dealing with an Aries. Ooh, it's brain playing around. Spirit said, ah, oh, there's new coming. Worth waiting for, remember? Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunities. Two more cards. Tangible things coming in. Things that you can plant, things that you can grow, right? These are seeds that are going to bear fruit. Now, whether that be in a relationship, whether that you stay single, and these are just gifts that are coming into you. Two more cards for advice. Thank you. King of Swords. Some of you may be having a new opportunity with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Maybe coming in. Ace of Pentacles. Worth waiting for. One more. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Pentacles in reverse. See? Some of you Virgos are holding on real tight, though. I don't know what you're holding on real tight to. Maybe just protecting yourself, right? Could just you are protecting your finances. You could just be protecting everything around you that means something to you. Oh, the Knight of Cups. Some of you may be holding back from new love here, Virgos, right? Or you could just be holding back from this Aries and saying, hell, I ain't taking nothing to the next level with you. I don't care if you want to take me out. I don't care what you give me. Uh, yeah. The Sun card. Look at this. And with a Wheel of Fortune. Destined for happiness, destined for change. Look at this woman on top of this wheel of fortune. And it's really funny that in this card, it isn't just one wheel, but there's another wheel, and there's another wheel, and there's another wheel. Great things happening for some of you Virgos. Now, two of pentacles in reverse. It's giving me the energy. Now, the two of pentacles in the upright talks about somebody needing to make a decision. Right? It also talks about somebody maybe juggling an idea or something like that. But it's in the reverse. So for some of you, I don't know if it's telling me that this King of Swords is going to be someone who comes in. Like I said, you're not going to be juggled anymore. This is somebody who's going to know what they want, right? The King of Swords is usually a truthful person. They're usually straightforward, very intelligent. Hmm. Okay, what's going to be for some of you? So let's get, this is a fun part. <laughs> let's get some rebel cards on this Aries energy spirit. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. I don't even know what's going to come out. Spirit be funny with these, these rebel deck though. So let's see, give me some cards for the Aries energy. Give me three cards. Thank you, spirit. I heard only three. <laughs> Ooh, give me three cards for the Aries energy. Thank you. One more. Thank you. Ah. 
the top of the deck you have you need a good fucking cry it says get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you for it so again this energy of this person um not being in a good place right you also have detox it says drink a smoothie unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out <laughs> so some of you i don't know if you gave this person back their stuff i don't know it could be that this person maybe needs to detox right maybe they are consuming too much alcohol or something like that with a drink a smoothie right and it could be just the way that they need to do things right now to cope so the three cards you have is get the fuck out of your head it says get in your heart it misses you I don't know. This person is kind of coming across as a little bit emotionally unavailable, or, or maybe that's how they were in the past, right? Maybe they just put didn't put the time, effort. I don't know. But very much in an energy of finding it really hard to let go of this, and maybe just mentally, you have you're the shit. It says, don't forget it, see? And this is how they're seeing you with that hanged man, right? It's that aha moment, right? Damn, maybe Virgo was the one. Or maybe things would have been better if I was with Virgo or stayed with Virgo or didn't leave or whatever the situation is between you and this Aries. But they are seeing you, look at this. You're the shit. Not only healed, not only connected, but beautiful, confident. You didn't let something here stop you or break you. And even if it did break you, it was a temporary pause, right? Yeah, I'm hearing that song. Moving on up. <laughs> yeah, some of my Virgos just said, hey, okay. After I healed myself, it's time for me to move on to better things. And so said here with the Ace of Pentacles. Now this is lining up. Let me not. <laughs> Let me stop. All right. You have that project, that person, that idea is waiting. It says, get after that shit. The world has your back. So this could be telling me that this Aries is seeing you guys. Like I said, going after your dreams, building things for yourself, right? Your manifestations coming through. Some of you, they are seeing you move on to new love, new people. And again, with the energy of the world has your back, I'm telling you your ancestors is all over this. For some of you Virgos, your ancestors led you right out of a, I want to say a tower moment. Should I be nosy and see for some of you? Because I like to be fair. So for the collective spirit, give me three cards for my Virgos that would like to go back to this Aries. That would wondering, if I go back, would it work out for me, right? Now, guys, if you don't want to go back to this Aries, just don't listen to this bit, okay? <laughs> give me three cards for my Virgos that would go back to the Aries. What would be the energy? So we got the Queen of Swords coming out here, which is Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. I don't know why I felt like I needed to state that. Now, the Queen of Swords is usually somebody who delivers the truth, who's very clear and direct. You have the Page of Swords, which tells me, uh, I don't know, maybe there would have to be some truth between some kind of conversation, some kind of clarity here. The Page of Swords is usually a spy and energy, but it's also about information here. One more. For my Virgos that would want to go back to this area, what would be the energy? Potential outcome. Thank you. Ooh. The five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. This could be for some of you. Okay, this is giving me several things, okay? Which is why I know it's for different people. So, again, you guys are interested in the personal reading. My information is always down below. Now, with this queen of swords, the page of swords, and this five of pentacles, it could be telling me here, <clears throat> for some of you, that this Aries may have a third party that they would need to release, right? This could be telling me that you lot don't see, you. some of you wouldn't see...
Mm. It's giving me the energy that some of you, sorry, some of you, um, if you knew the whole truth, <laughs> I'm hearing the whole truth and nothing but the truth, if you knew the whole truth, I feel like you would be disappointed and you would leave this situation out in the cold anyway. Now, this could also, for some of you with that thief card here, okay, my bird's going crazy. Mm -hmm. For some of you here, there is, if you knew the whole truth, something about money. Five of Pentacles. So how do I want to end this reading? No, I actually don't want to end it with Mother Mary. Let's get one angel card and one moonology for the energy for my Virgos dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see what we get. These cards are so stiff. Yeah, they want a peaceful resolution here. All right, give me one card. How do you want to end this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Oh, look, what did I just say? Look what they want to show me. Get more information. There's a lot maybe that some of you lot do not know about this energy. Give me a card. Thank you. And it fell on the floor. Oh, ow. Don't stop. Keep going. Let's get immunology. My Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. The energy. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So for some of you, I mean, we have the King of Swords, right? What was he attached to? The Two of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know. Some of you may be getting communication from a Gemini here. Yeah, look at that. Your commitment is being tested. What do you need to release? Hold your vision. Hold your vision, Virgos. For some of you, it's just a thing where you're just not meant to return. Now, because I feel like the ancestors are very much all over this reading and I'm getting very warm, so this is definitely a direct message for someone here, right? Give me one angel card. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgo's dealing with an Aries. It's the energy. I only wanted one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, crystal, which makes me feel as well, I don't know Virgos, if you guys have crystals, make sure you're charging your crystals and things like that, protecting yourself, you, it says have faith and hope because there is something positive, <laughs> Ooh. it says have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon, Virgos, you cannot see yet. Something's coming your way, guys. And you have Chantel. Oh, it says new romance is in intimate. So, yeah, I feel like that means like it's, it's a definite, right? We saw that Wheel of Fortune. Now, it's up to you guys. Take it, leave it. It's up to you. It says either with a newcomer or through reunited passion. So again, some of you may have a choice here, right? Like I said, some of you may want to go back and reunite and give this another go. For some of you, there's something new, someone new. Um, in your existing relationship, it says be open to giving and receiving love. Yeah, Virgos, we saw that four of pentacles. Some of you going, you know, be a little bit open. If 
if it's what you want. I saw that Nine of Pentacles, and I know that Nine of Pentacles is a very comfortable energy, right? But Virgos, that is what I have for you guys. If you are dealing with an Aries, this is going to be for the first half of June. Guys, again, take care, love and light.